that time of the month again. I have created 10 awesome apps for you to download and try. As always, I'll be putting the QR codes down in the corner so you don't have to search through every link to the description. And without further ado, let's get started. In a previous episode, I have showed you an amazing app in which you can see and download every single Google Pixel live and static wallpapers. But what about the other brands? Stocky is a special wallpaper app in which you can find every single official wallpaper of any brand. The app and the wallpapers are updated constantly and all the wallpapers are high resolution. You can also search wallpapers based on a specific brand or model. The app also has a nifty auto wallpaper changer function. Just pick an interval and the source and the app will change your wallpaper automatically. I don't know about you, but I really like the stock wallpapers of some brands. So this application is always installed on my phone. Our next app is in the category of utility. URL check is a simple but pretty useful app for those who don't trust every link they see. All you have to do is to select share by URL check before opening a link and the app will show you an overlay containing every critical information of that URL. You can see the domain, the part of the page, you can check the status of the URL, shorten it, clean it from referrals and many more. When you're finished, you can simply continue opening a new link with your default browser or share directly from the same overlay. A perfect app for the ones who are cautious about their security. The next app I chose for today is for the ones who like to color grade their pictures but don't know how to use complicated editing tools. 3D Lots Mobile 2 yes, this is the actual name of the app, is a simple color grading and filtering app. Just choose a photo you want to edit and start editing. You have all the usual tools like brightness, contrast, saturation, and other tools. You can also crop or rotate your image directly from here, but my favorite option is under the second menu. From here, you can choose a color preset to apply to your image. App has different categories and they're pretty good. Here's an example picture I took and edited with 3D Lots. One downside of this app is that as a free user, the download quality is pretty bad, but it is adequate for social media or experimenting. Okay, you know how much I like open source applications, but sometimes it is a really big hustle to manage every single file from many different sources like GitLab, GitHub, and many more. I simply don't want to check whether my application has a newer version or not by manually. Therefore, I found this app. Optinium is one-step solution for managing your apps outside the Play Store. Just add the link of the app's repository and Optinium will check whether the app has a newer version or not and let you know. Moreover, you can simply update the app with one click without leaving Optinium. It can also search the app link for you. Just write the name of the app and select the places you want to search and Optinium will find every single matching app. However, it might not find every single application, so if that is the case, just add the URL manually. For example, I'm using to check whether the seal has an update or not. If you don't know what seal is, I highly suggest you watching this video. Overall, another must have for me, so why don't you give it a try? Our next app is more than just an application, but since the first day I started using it, it became an essential part of my internet life. The app I'm talking about is Perplexity. Perplexity is an AI language model like ChatGPT, but the biggest difference is that Perplexity is designed specifically for internet search. You simply write what you want to learn and Perplexity will scan the internet, including videos, and show you results with all the relevant sources. It's a perfect app for searching information, especially in the age of non-functioning Google and fake knowledge. It is also awesome for double-checking your research, which I always use. Sometimes it is hard to access knowledge on the internet, and I use Perplexity to double-check my research to make sure that I didn't miss anything. If you never use Perplexity, I highly recommend you do. Okay, yet again, a must-have application for me. Wavelet is an awesome equalizer app. It is really simple, but it is a beautiful and intuitive UI, and most importantly, it is reliable. 
I have never had a single time Wavelet is closing or not working even though I didn't open it months at a time. If you watch my S24 Ultra review, you would know that the speakers of this phone is not great and pretty badly tuned. I made this EQ so that speakers are more balanced and tolerable and left it on. Wavelet is installed on my phone since I got this phone and like I said, it never failed me. So if you're also not happy with your phone speakers tuning or just want a general purpose equalizer, don't skip this one. What about an application that will help you learn English? Vocabulary is a, well, a vocabulary app. But what makes it unique is that it will show you new words and their meaning with a simple notification along the day. Just choose your English level and how many words that you want to see every day. Vocabulary will send you notifications throughout the day with different English words and their meanings. Moreover, you can use the app as a flashcard app and simply swipe through the word list. You can also add a word to your favorites for future reference or send it to someone else. The app also has multiple different themes so you can find the most comforting environment for you. It is an excellent app to develop your vocabulary. So even if you're really fluent in English or it is your native language, I still suggest trying this app. Our next app on the list is a pretty nice utility app, Meet with Device Info. Device Info shows you every detail of your phone such as CPU core speed, real-time memory usage, display properties and many more. You can also see all the software related information such as firmware version, product code, device age and again many more. If you want, you can see every component in more detail including your cameras. Moreover, you can see every single sensor on your device and their real-time readings. Perfect for the developers and for the ones who are curious about such things. Finally, the app includes a test function in which you can test every component of your device and see if they're functioning properly. Also, I have to say that it is a beautiful design and fully supports mono theming. So if you're searching an all-in-one device information and diagnostic apps, give this one a try. The next app in our list is a fun one. Stats FM is an application that will show you your listening habits and statistics based on your Spotify history. It can show you your top tracks, artists, and genres for the past year, six months, or one month. Also, app supports now playing feature and full list of your listening history. My only complaint is that the app contains a lot more ads that I'm comfortable with and it hinders the experience quite a bit. However, since this is not an everyday app, it might be tolerable for you. It is not a groundbreaking or a must-have app, but it's kind of fun for the number of geeks like me. Our last app is also in the category of music. Meet with Musify. Musify is the most beautiful music player app that I have ever encountered, but that's not it. In Musify, you can search for music and play them directly without downloading. Music comes from YouTube and Musify supports auto sponsor blocks so you don't get any distractions while listening. The app fully embraces the Material 3 design language and, of course, supports mono theming. You can also choose between the new and the old recommendation algorithms. If you don't like subscription services or you simply don't like their design like me, definitely give Musify a try. And with that, we come to the end of our list. If you have any app suggestions for the future, just let me know down in the description. Also, you can support my channel with the link in the description if you want to see more awesome videos like this. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe and share. And as always, take care.